Okay, we're here back in Santa Clarita, California in Ron's gym here and we're going to talk a little bit about the Brock string. So for those of you in archery that have ever had the illness of target panic can understand that once you get it, uh, it's a terrible thing. It's kind of like having the shanks in golf. You just don't know how to get rid of it. So we're going to talk a little bit about some vision training with this Brock string and I think there's some parallels how that could really look at maybe um, you know curing some of the issues with target panic that a lot of archers have today. Hey thanks Lucas. Yeah there's a whole world of vision training for athletic uh, purposes. This actually comes out of vision therapy so a lot of my friends that work with athletes will use what's called a Brock string as Lucas mentioned. And the idea is that I'm going to stand behind this string and I'm going to focus on the first bead, the second bead, then the third bead. And what I'm trying to do is Get my focus set quickly, jump to the next point, get my focus set quickly, jump to the next point, get my focus set quickly, and just start playing back and forth, in and out, working with that depth perception. So it's really interesting because when you do things like this, you can actually improve some of your strength uh, pressing or pulling in the gym, as well as some of your accuracy. So it's just something to try. So I'm going to put this right in front of my nose and kind of anchor my elbow down so my, my hand is pretty steady. I'm going to let the string stop and I'm going to go blue. And what I'm seeing now is I'm seeing the, the string split. As it comes out, there's two. I'm on the white, black, white, blue. And I'm not changing until I have my focus set and I jump to the next one. Blue, white, black, white, blue, black, white, blue, black, blue, white, blue, white blue, white. And the reason the, I was waiting longer with some of them because I, I hadn't got my focus yet. So anyway, it's a whole world out there. I encourage people to explore it. Uh, there are things you can do with, with your hands following around and just working your peripheral vision, your focus points between near and far. And if you work a lot on the computer and then you try to go out shooting, you probably have some kind of visual issue that can be improved upon that will transfer right into your shooting when you have your bow. Because the computer, you're always close up and narrow, you're not using your depth uh, vision, and you're not using your peripheral vision. So that's one of the things that starts to fade if we don't use it. We're not getting this out here and we're not getting that, and that's what you need to drive and walk safely. And of course you need to look down range as well. So check it out. Cool. Thanks Ron. Rod yeah. Narrow Outdoors. It's not about the inches, it's about the adventure.